A loud scandal has rocked the state Duma of the Russian Federation, which is completely controlled by the Kremlin. Communist Party Deputy Renat Sulemanov spoke directly at the session about the armed forces of the Russian Federation turning into an army of criminals. Sulemanov was outraged that in Russia, in essence, a legal way of evading criminal liability has appeared, which criminals very actively use. The principle of the inevitability of punishment, which is fundamental in any legal state, has been destroyed. We are now turning our army into some kind of batko makno gang of criminals and outlaws. We are recruiting some marginal elements and trying to construct our armed forces from this, the Russian deputy openly declared. It should be noted that the Russian Federation began actively recruiting prisoners into its army back in the fall of 2022 when the failure of the Blitzkrieg in Ukraine became obvious and a lot of cannon fodder was needed to hold a broad front. The first to tour Russian prisons to recruit mercenaries was the leader of the Wagner PMC, Yevgeny Prigozhin. Over time, the Russian Ministry of Defense also took this up. The mass recruitment of prisoners not only increased the decomposition of the Russian army, but also had the most negative impact on security in the Russian Federation itself. Dangerous criminals were released early, which sharply exacerbated the crime situation in the country. Recently, a Russian prisoner has recorded a video message to Russians and told about his experience of participating in the war with Ukraine. He warns others against going to the front, saying that it is a one-way ticket. He signed a contract for one year, but it was a scam. The Russian army command leaves everyone at the front until the end of the war, sending former prisoners to a penal battalion. The mercenary admitted that he was trained to operate drones, but was sent to an infantry assault in Volchansk. He had no chance to use his knowledge since there were no drones. When we were in the basement, we thought it would be better if we served another 10 years just to get away from the complete hell. He admits, don't go to the SVO. It's death without any meaning. In 20 years, no one will remember you, just as the victims of the war in Afghanistan have long been forgotten. No one can say why and for what people died in that war. The same will happen with this one. The channel's authors comment on the confession of the Russian soldier. The airstrikes hit different parts of the tense region near the border with Israel with local TV stations reporting that some of the airstrikes reached the eastern Baka Valley. An Israeli military spokesperson posted on social media platform X that Israel's air force was currently attacking Hezbollah targets in Lebanon. The airstrikes came a day after heavy exchanges along the border, as well as a rare Israeli airstrike on a Beirut southern suburb that killed 31 people, including a top Hezbollah commander. Smoke was seen rising in northern Israel on Saturday as tensions between Israel and the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah increased. On Friday, Israel claimed the death of a senior Hezbollah military official after a rare Israeli airstrike in Beirut killed at least 31 people and wounded dozens more, shortly after Hezbollah pounded northern Israel with 140 rockets. The strikes are part of a new cycle of escalation between the enemies that has raised fears of a full-out war erupting in the Middle East particularly after two separate attacks in Lebanon in which communication devices exploded simultaneously around the country, reportedly killing 37 people and injuring more than 3,400 others. Israel and Hezbollah have traded fire regularly since Hamas' October 7 assault on southern Israel ignited the Israeli military's devastating offensive in Gaza. <laughs>